Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here with No Land. Hello, my adventurers doing? Welcome back to some more Octopath Traveler. Episode 3! With that uh, said, we're... Last we left off, we just met uh, Silas. But he goes by Albright. Well, Professor Albright. And I did uh, turn off music now, just because, you know, I can either add my own, or... I could always just get copyright claimed. <laughs> it's the battle music that's copyright claimed. Oh. And I feel like he, this is a lot more peaceful, man. That that just amazing quiet noise. I'll probably just add my own like battle music that I enjoy. That's not really copyright. <laughs> it's me, Cyrus. Okay, so his name is Cyrus, but he goes by Professor Oliver. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I got it right. Okay, cool. <laughs> mm hmm. When I heard there was a copy of the Church of the Flame. Okay, so this is where all the original copies go. I see. With pleasure. I wish they would have done like the whole turn off copyrighted music option, to, really, or had the option to disable battle music. Mm -hmm. But keep the atmosphere. When she says it like that, I feel like she's country for sure. <laughs> There's one thing I'm happy about. I didn't choose this path. <laughs> So far, his, his character just doesn't fit me. Many thanks. All I know is I'm going to have a lot of editing to do. Interesting dilemma. Oh, wait. Professor Albright. <sighs> He's talking about it being guarded, then. Something is off. Who is the thief? I want to see. The truth is... I see. Many thanks. I don't know, book thieves who Cyrus want knowledge. By your request, sir. Oh, that's his last name. Okay. Well, I should have known, considering Professor Do always used her last enter. name afterwards. Um, My apologies for summoning you on such short notice. That's definitely a vampire. How might I be of assistance, Headmaster? That treatise on arcane studies you published. What in the gods' names were you thinking? Sir? I do believe I made my hypothesis perfectly clear. I'm 
not talking about your hypothesis. You went out of your way to cite one of the texts in our special archives. The knowledge housed in those tomes is the Royal Academy's greatest treasure. I mean, people won't know if you don't talk about it. But then again, if everybody there knows already, then... It is not to be divulged to the public at your whim. Laying it bare in one of your silly papers is out of the question. Oh, so is he like a... I am fully news? aware of the value of those tomes, Headmaster. It is for that very reason I would share Basically the knowledge with my peers. <laughs> you are to share nothing! That wisdom is for the Academy and the Academy alone. What's the point of having knowledge if you don't share that knowledge with others to make them smarter and avoid like <laughs> wars and stuff like that? But that goes against everything. Enough, Cyrus! Even my best argument is sure to fall on deaf ears. The headmaster sees knowledge as a metal or precious stone. Something to be appreciated by its rightful owner alone. Yeah, which is stupid. <laughs> Knowledge is power, and power is to be hoarded. An unfortunate attitude. My sincere apologies, Headmaster. It won't happen again. Is there anything else you need of me? Yeah. That is all. You may go. He called me just to complain like a little bitch. What the way? Hold on a second. Okay. Wait. There was one last thing. Sir? I heard the special archives will be closing early today. If you have research to do there, I would do so quickly. Good gods. It's as if he enjoys watching me suffer. Thank you for your concern. He probably does. <laughs> In that case, I'll be on my way. He called you here for that little thing. Just to complain and yell. And, uh... uh... Excuse me. What's the matter? Wait, what? About me? What the heck, man? Hello there. Sure is rain. Wait, so where do I go now? Anything I'll just save. So do I just? Oh no! I go back to the archives. Just because the whole last hint thing to that dialogue. Can I help you? A moment of your time. My apologies. Say it is not so. Actually... I mean, that doesn't... Just because it's forbidden doesn't mean it's going to stop people from taking things. I mean... We have laws, and people still take things. <laughs> then he's probably stolen the key from somebody. Either that, or he's probably one of the people who have the key.
A home. Yes, quite a mystery indeed. Who's the scumbag who stole the book? <laughs> I feel like it's the headmaster because he's really concerned about knowledge. <laughs> More than anybody else. to me. Well, it looks like she already batted an eyelid, so... Take <laughs> care. Yeah, she batted an eyelash as soon as you said that, just to turn around in the animation. So, you lose. It's Time a fast enough. to do some research. <laughs> hmm. So now I just gotta pretty much ask everyone. Like I'm saying, it's probably the headmaster. To just spit around. He's basically Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> That's what I've learned. Silas is basically Sherlock Holmes. Okay, of course I've got a key to the archive. And no, I wasn't sleeping. I was... Resting my eyes is all. Yeah, that's what they all say. I rest my eyes all the time and I end up falling asleep. <laughs> but even if I was sleeping, what would it matter? What kind of fool would bother stealing a worthless tome? Yeah. I also feel the same way. Most intriguing. Gotta solve the case, brother. <laughs> So now I gotta interrogate the headmaster. No, I interrogate him. I right out torture him too. You know full well I have the keys to the special archives and that I would never be so foolish to let it fall into the wrong hands. In any event, I have had no reason... Okay, eh. Yeah, sure. I don't trust him. He has a key, this is true, but... Oh god, I didn't even get to read that. What the fuck, dude? So is, is there no way to read that last dialogue? I'm kind of sad, dude. There's no chat logs I can look at. What's this? Okay, so I gained insight of one weakness. One out of... Well... We got two more left. Who else would be the culprit, my guy? There's someone in town that I talk to now. This is my guess. Ah, oh, nope. <laughs> They're just like, dude, where do you think you're going? Alright, I'll just go in then, into the palace. What? 
Hey boy, he sneaks into the palace. Just still valuable. Oh, so that's another way to learn if the if a, like a character has valuable items. Because we found it out just by buying it. You could have had probably a thief and just stole the items, really. <laughs> oh, so there's a hidden item. Oh, so when you do dialogue, it has a chance of showing a hidden item, too. Okay, so that's another hidden item. The eldest son in a family that serves the king for generations. He takes pride in his job. Okay, who the heck takes pride in guarding others? I'm too lazy. Can't be asked. Oh, there it is. Now he's guarding nothing. <laughs> Those grapes are mine. It's good to know that... Oh. Good to know that I can make so many uh, actions with different characters, though. Alright, so what did you say? Okay, yeah, maybe. I'm pretty sure. Uh, where is these hidden items that they have? There's one. I say I'm kind of hoping to fall into some like good loot or something. Small cup. Come on, cup of coffee. Okay, let's get out of here. You know, not about it. I could just completely mute what's going on in battles. So I'm just gonna turn the music back on. I can always just re edit anything that does become copyright, like last episode. Oh, it's, it's you two. Russell? Key to the archives? I haven't got... Got that. But I'm not surprised someone stole a tome considering what they are worth. I've... Gambling. Oh wait, you have a gambling gun? Alright dude, you're irresponsible. <laughs> How you doing, Mercedes? Any inf any information? Okay, so only the guard and the headmaster have a key to the archives. So it's one of those suspicious too. Like I said, dude, it's definitely the headmaster. But of course! Yeah, I'm basically fucking Sherlock Holmes, okay? No doubt. Not exactly. So wait, huh? He is safely locked away in his office. For more, he hasn't visited. Ah, oh, okay. I guess that makes sense. On our other hand, the guard has been acting suspicious. 
Uh, I get, a he's hole. just a sleepy boy. That's all, dude. Oh, okay. I thought we were talking about the suspect. <laughs> not like, uh... <laughs> not like who got their key taken. Uh, no. Oh, then we know who it is. Yeah, him. So he's trying Which to sell it. Which means that... Duh. Yes. Shall we begin? Yeah, let's go punch our criminal in the face. Oh, he has himself own, his own little hobbit hole. Now then. So I have taken it upon myself to investigate this suspicious scholar. Okay, so now we're back from the story. So we take him to our party and do the quest. That's interesting. So any like actual quest is done with your main character you chose. Instead of you just going through it fully like you would when you first started. Neat. Silas has joined the party. Come on, Silas. Can I also rotate parties? Party members? No. I like this, at least. Ooh, spooky cave. Are you afraid, Silas? Well, we have spooky Lou over here. So don't worry about it. It's fine. The spookier, the better the loot. Ready or not, here I come. I don't have an axe, buddy. <laughs> okay, so you have no other abilities than that, huh? I mean, I kind of figured you were gonna be more of a mage anyway, really. such a thing. Hand over the loot, my boy. Hey, you leveled up. Now I'm wondering if I can use rest on you. I don't think I can. I think it's like one person, well, self ability. Oh no, rattle bones. Surprise your foe. Yeah, it's a self ability. Can't use it on him. Feels bad, mate. Jab. So the thing is, the more I fight these guys, the more I'm going to figure out about them. If I use Silas, just because 
seems like Silas gets a free reveal, and those reveals stay until the next battle. Hold itself, don't use Silas melees <laughs> other than just a break. Never do damage. There's a chest out. Oh. Open for business. Okay, yeah, I just as I thought. Pretty neat. Untouched bonus, too. Okay, so there's a chest like underneath me, so if I go this way. I has no sword itself. But I do have that. I would guess it's ice. Yeah, I was guessing ice because he's red. And he has fire in his name too. Makes me want to learn like every character's weakness just in case I run into him again. Oh, I actually can't change who I target. Oh, because it attacks all. Oh, that's going to be great to have him. Silas, you're taking too much damage, dude. Dodge. Okay, so it is level 2 down here. But the money doesn't go up, thankfully. I'm curious. Oh, there's two people this time. You got more than you bargained for. <laughs> That's interesting.
Oh, I thought that was a path to the right too. Jab him. That's what to do. So leveling gives us full HP. Is my guess. Now jab him. You should have or bop him beside the head, that works too. Settle this like gentlemen. Okay, so win works. What to do? What is the logical course of action? Oh, flames, rage, wrong. <laughs> now, what next? Interesting dilemma. Pop. And Here let's go. go ahead. Oh, get some you. coins. Can't wait for the bosses because I'm pretty sure do? the bosses will give me a thousand. An interesting dilemma. Ah. Oh, flames. Rage. Wrong. Thus ends your lesson. There definitely has to be a different way to reach over there. Ready Ow, my ears. Okay, thanks for that. Was not necessary at all. What a douche. Oh. He didn't put him to sleep. I thought he did. <laughs> How is that? Well, I say technically we took no damage out of that. There, no, there's no down path from there. Okay, just making sure we don't have anything like really valuable to sell. don't have anything to put on you either. I swear, I, of course, I just step off somewhere and you're just like, hey, dude, we try to catch these hands.
hand over to Gulva Boy. You should have studied harder. Hey, she's level nine now. Hello there, criminal scum. What? Yes. Excuse me. A moment of your time. <laughs> oh yeah, sure. You know he's the evil scum. Come now. The truth is... <gasps> like, damn, he figured me out. I would have got away with it too if it was for you meddling kids. <laughs> I don't think this one will listen to reason. Of course not. What to do? I mean, first things first, we're gonna set up to where we can just steal money. <laughs> okay, so he's not effective against uh, fears. An interesting dilemma. Oh, ice! Them through. So he's affected against ice. Nice try. Now, what next? Oh, flames! Rain They're affected wrong. against fire. My turn now. <laughs> and they're good. Affected against spear. Holy crap, my guy, Here calm down. Go. I'm just trying to steal some loot. You. How much do they give? Oh wow, they actually give quite a bit. I still Damn, son! You so really time. don't like him, do you? <laughs> what to do? I now have something that... yeah. Let me help. There you go, buddy. I didn't mean to wake you up to that, <laughs> at least, but, you know. You can kill this one in the back. What next? Nice try. Well, that's not good. I'm just going to defend. An interesting and defend. Is <laughs> not. Do 
of these spells are getting out of hand. Let's Here, try have this. a great. <laughs> Oh wow, even with that good chunk of damage, they're still standing. An interesting dilemma. Oh, flames! Rain! Wrong! Okay, we found. Oh, okay, never mind. He still hasn't died yet. Jeez. Now the true lesson Finally, the bills are gone. My turn now. now, I'm gonna need you to cough up that loot you probably have. Right after I heal. Let me help. Now, what next? Think not. Ah! Ooh, yikes! Uh... Uh... An interesting dialogue. Think not. What is the logical course of action? How about this? Okay, so she has enough to get Here full skill. And I'm guessing this is going to be a thousand again. Oh no, nearly two thousand. Jeez. I still Damn, you really don't like him, do you? Okay, so all my weapons are... Ineffective against you. What about wind? Okay, wind is effective. What to do? You're not really scary, considering the fact that what to do? she has good gear. Albright doesn't. <laughs> That's just physical defense, so that wouldn't do me any good. Any more money on you? Oh. <laughs> so, I'm curious. Let me help. What else is very effective against you? Now, what next? Okay, staff. What to do? What to do? What is the logical course of my turn now? I won't hold back. Wait, this then Interesting dilemma. Think not. Let's do this. It's my turn now. Nice try. I still have. Here I go. Yeah, he can stay dead now. Cause that's all he wanted was the break. Here I go. Ah! 
still not dead now? That man is really defined on dying, huh? What if only we had analyzed so we could see how much HP he had anyway. What to do? Oh, he silenced me. What the fuck do you do? Dude, you have so much HP. What to do? I feel like you're like really Here close to death. But you're just dragging it out as long as you can. Okay, hold on, brother. You are tweaking. My guy just went from several different stances to the point where I just don't like this. <laughs> he was just like, oh, okay, I'm gonna hit you with this. Now I'm gonna hit you with this. What if I hit you with this? <laughs> already oh my god oh no my turn now here i go i hate you thank you jesus christ you got more than you bargained for Okay, so if a character is dead, they don't receive anything. I was curious about that. So you have to res them. Just so. Say it is not so. Now don't teach me that try and teach me that whole valuable lesson thing. Do you not see what you're doing to people when you still knowledge? Thank you. Indeed. <laughs> you know, Russell could also just could have just pinned it on you, say you beat him. You walked into his place and beat him up. For no reason, just to frame him. <laughs> but nah, we choose to snitch on ourselves out here. <laughs> Considering that, you know, Silas did do a breaking, breaking and entering <laughs> into my cave, into my little hobbit home. Mm -hmm. Actually... I see. 
So that's my, so that's Silas's journey is finding a book that's been missing for 15 years. Yes. Hmm. Actually, most intriguing. Course. Is he just gonna call me just to yell at me? <laughs> I doubt it. Say the headmaster doesn't seem like the type of person to do such a thing. He seems like a type of person who would just complain. Just to complain, that's it. <laughs> hey, and that will be our one hour for uh, Silas's story. I've brought Professor Albright, as asked, sir. Good. Enter. Is that because he's going to get expelled or something? Thank you, Lucia. Yes, Headmaster. What can I do for you? <clears throat> Something tells me he's not about to offer a commendation. Yep. Professor Albright, a most troubling report has reached my ears. A report, sir? An anonymous source claims that you have abused your prestigious position to enter into an illicit relationship with Her Highness the Princess. Huh? Oh, is that... Is she Framer's sister? Oh. And you believe this report, sir? If it is untrue, then say so. Why, it is unfounded, unsubstantiated, balderdash of the highest order. I would like to take your words at face value, Professor, but I fear the situation is not so simple. How is it now? A rumor regarding the royal family, even an unsubstantiated one such as this, is sure to spread quickly. If we do not take swift action, Princess Mary's good name could be forever sullied. That is something that simply cannot be allowed to happen. Surely you understand. So either he's exiled or they're just going to treat him as a criminal now. <laughs> and so what do you intend to do with me, sir? It is not an easy decision to make. Dismissing you outright would be tantamount to an admission of guilt. If I may be so bold, Headmaster, what about a sabbatical? Professor Albright has put on extended leave, while official accounts state that he's doing field work in a distant land. What say So basically science? exiled. This way, both the Academy's reputation and your own will remain intact. My reputation? Do we have a problem, Professor? Yeah, we got a problem. And you also got a problem, too. These hands. Not at all, Headmaster. 
You On fucking the contrary, pussy. This might prove the perfect opportunity. Opportunity? For what? As a matter of fact, there is a matter which has piqued my interest of late. I was just wondering when I might find the time to do a bit of research in the field. I think I will set forth on a journey. In search of an ancient tome that disappeared 15 years ago. Uh, so that, I was right, that was his freaking journey. Besides, if I am not permitted to share what I have learned with my peers and the public, there is little point in continuing my research here. Oh, that is funny, because he does have, like, a lot of knowledge for them. It would be kind of surprising that they would let him go with the amount of knowledge he does know. Is that so? Do tell, Professor. What is it that you intend to investigate? As regards a certain tome. Now, if you will forgive me, I must begin packing for my journey. Good day to you, Headmaster. An enigma as ever, that one. <laughs> Professor! You know, it was her to spread the rumor. You can always push her down a few stairs. <laughs> oh, Therese. I... I heard that you were leaving the Academy. Then you heard true. Don't you fake gasp at me. I'm, I'm so sorry. I see. So you were the source of the rumor. Exactly. <laughs> you... you knew? Not until just this moment, when you apologized. And yet, I cannot fathom your motive. Why would you tell such a terrible lie? Jealousy. <laughs> you're always helping her highness, answering her every question. Because you're too much of a pussy to fucking... Mm. <sighs> Coward. <laughs> that is the only word I, I have for you is coward. You pay more attention to me. And that's why you went to the headmaster. Yeah, because she's too much of a pussy to talk. Y yes, but I I just wanted to get you in a little trouble. Dude, a little trouble with the princess matter? Yeah, that's not happening. I didn't think they would. I am so sorry, Professor. Can you ever forgive me? Ah, uh, hey, you ask these flight of stairs if they forgive you. <laughs> Worry not, my dear. It just so happens that I was looking for a good excuse to go on a journey. You were? For some time now, I've wanted to travel the realm and see what can be learned beyond these halls. I dare say the timing couldn't have been better. You see, there's a certain matter I simply can't wait to investigate. So fret not, my girl. If anything, you've done me a favor. Besides, I am not entirely without fault in the matter. What do you mean? Indeed, I have not been as attentive to you as I should. Uh, no, and no, I your true no, sooner, we will not do this BS. This she, she's a jealous bitch that didn't really have the courage to talk to you. You will not put that on yourself. Whatever do you... If only I had realized how devoted you were to your studies, my dear girl. Nani. I 
studies. Okay, never mind. Silas only cares about knowledge. I totally forgot about that. <laughs> I have always striven to treat all my students equally. And yet, Her Highness is always eager to ask questions, and I was all too eager to answer them. Yeah, she was all too eager to not ask them because she's a coward. In doing so, I may have given the impression that I favored her above you and the others. This was not my intention, but I am at fault all the same. And her and the others are cowards for not being... Okay, you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> yes. If only I had seen you for the ardent and devoted young scholar that you are. Yeah, totally not like really wanting you. <laughs> <sighs> Um, Professor, perhaps you're not quite as sharp as I thought you were. Rude. Yes? <laughs> Never mind. Coward! <laughs> In that case, I should be off. Pray do not shirk your studies, my girl. Yes, Professor. Will... will I ever see you again? Probably not. <laughs> I do not see why not. Provided we both still live. Alright. And that is the end of episode uh, three. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you all for the next episode. Whatever. Because <laughs> I have to work tomorrow. Oh, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did enjoy, leave a like. A comment. Until then. Peace out.